Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today we can solve a question from shear force and bending moment chapter. So the question is for the shear force diagram shown in the figure. They have shown a figure and we want to find the uh, loaded beam uh, diagram. So okay, there are uh, four options. So we want to find which option is correct. Okay, already we know that uh, for the shear force, for the shear force, if the shear force is constant, uh, then what will be the loading diagram? What the loading diagram? Uh, it it is opposite of that. Okay, so the loading diagram will be what there is. So load in loading diagram zero. That is no load. Okay, so no load will be acting at that point and. What if the shear force is linear? So shear force is linear. The load will be constant. Okay, so load will be constant. Constant means it will be UDL. And next, okay, this is for this linear. And if the uh, if this load is in uh, constant, there is no load. Okay, so this is opposite of this what we have studied in this loading diagram and the shear force. Okay, so uh, from A to D. So from A to D, uh, there is sudden. Okay, from A to D, we can see. So shear force at this D is fourteen D, and the shear force here is what forty. Okay, so there is sudden drop of the shear force from fourteen T to minus fourteen T. So fourteen T to minus forty. So there is, this is a magnitude. Okay, so this is the magnitude of shear force. So there is a sudden drop in from the uh, in the shear force diagram from this fourteen T to minus fourteen T. So uh, already we know there is a drop. So what will be the load? So the point load at this D in this downward direction. So uh, we already know that if the shear force will be constant, there is no load. Okay, so here. There will be no load present, but there is a drop in the shear force. So, what there will be a point load like this. Okay, so there will be point load. So, in point load only we can see the sudden change. Uh, it is just the opposite. Opposite means I will show you how. Okay, in already we have studied that if the load is what if there is a sudden how like if if there is a concentrate load acting like this, then what will be the shear force diagram? There will be a sudden. This is a, there is a change in the shear force diagram. That is sudden change. So either it will be upward or direct or downward or it will be like this. So if the load is concentrated, then the shear force diagram. Will be like this as we have already studied. So it is just opposite of that. So here in the figure we can see fourteen t and minus fourteen t. So fourteen t minus fourteen t. So there is a change in this shear force. So sudden change in shear force. So the what will be the load? So the load will be point load. So we have drawn that point load here, and next is about this D to B. So D to B, what is the magnitude of this D to B? So D to B, the magnitude is sixteen. That is here sixteen minus forty. I forgot to length write the length. It is eight meter, and it is one meter, and it is uh, sorry. So it is four meter, and it is four meter. Okay, so this is the length. I forgot to write. Sorry. So here. Uh, it is this is sixteen. Okay, so sixteen minus what four? So sixteen minus four. It is acting at a at a length of this eight. So sixteen minus four divided by this eight. Sixteen minus four divided by eight. What is the answer? So the answer is one point five. Okay, so here it is given as ton. So one point five one point five ton per meter. Okay, so this D two B. So here the shear force is linear. So already we know that if the shear force is diagram is linear, then what will be the load? Load will be UDL. So we know about the UDL load here. And all, already we have calculated it is 1.5. So 1.5 ton per meter. And next is what about this B to C? So from B to C, what is the magnitude? So B to C the magnitude is 9 minus 3. So this is the magnitude. Okay, so 9 minus 3. So nine minus three divided by it is acting at this length. So nine minus three divided by this four. So your answer will be 
1.5 ton per meter so to look about what about the load so load acting is it concentrated or to know about the difference in the load it is acting linearly so linearly means what udl okay but here there is a there is a change okay there is a jump so there is a jump from this we already mentioned and we have just calculated okay so the, there is if uh, we want to see that there is a jump from the 16 t that is minus 16 t minus 16 t to what 90 so there is a jump like this so what about this jump so if this we want to find this load okay so for a jump of this shear force so i will share a method if you notice if you note a jump like this so whatever the be the jump if you in this shear force diagram if you find a jump like this there is two possibility for this q value so if the jump so what there is a sudden jump so if the jump is in what upper direction then the load will be q it will be also in upper direction so exactly opposite if, if the jump is in this downward direction then okay load also will be in this q that will be in downward so exactly this is opposite that is okay so like already we have studied if this if we have this udl uh, load there will be a uh, we already have seen that so the, it will be this linear change of the shear force so just opposite of that okay okay so the jump is from minus 16 t to 90 so the jump is this upward jump so what for this upward jump it is what okay so this is upward jump so there is a load or in this upward direction so we can just okay so here we know that here we have a load so it is in the upward direction so okay so b there is an upward load okay so upward and next is uh, about the c so c there is a jump in this downward direction that is the jump is from this 3t to 0 so 3t to 0 uh, what about the jump the jump is to downward direction so load also will be in this downward direction so here the load it is like this so this is the final answer okay this is the final answer so let's get into the question and see which option is correct from the options given below the correct answer is option a